WTIC. We're talking tolls, especially since the governor, in discussing his accomplishments today on the 100th day in office, focused on his greatest accomplishment, and that is the tolls proposal. Joining us now to talk about it on his regular weekly visit is Tom O'Day, state representative uh, representing Wilton and New Canaan, I believe. And we'll take more calls after a few minutes with Tom. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, Todd. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What's uh, so committees have stopped with, uh, you know, considering legislation and pushing it forward, right? You you're all done with that. Yes, correct. Now we're we're going into a little bit of a lull now while uh, the majority party tries to put a budget together. Um, you know, in just addressing some of what Governor Lamont said today. You know, he, he's proud of the tolls, minimum wage, and legalization of uh, marijuana. Uh, and and he, I believe he said that the state's business community is, quote, high on his list of things to accomplish. I, somebody told <laughs> well, me that's what he said. That's not a bad idea. He did say every businessman he talks to says they need tolls for better, or at least says they need, their big problem is they need infrastructure. But I think he said they're all supportive of tolls, which I find kind of shocking, because uh, I've talked not, to a number of business people who haven't said that. No, and, and I, I, I haven't either. I, um, and, and the problem with tolls, as, as I said before, is if you look at the actual numbers and you look at the cost, you know, they say we want out-of-state people to pay, but the cost to operate and maintain the tolls I'm telling you, it's going to be, if you just look at what other states pay, it's going to be about what we're supposed to be getting from out-of-state Yeah, it's uh, a wash. It's, it's a, a wash, wash, so we're getting nothing except we get 70 cents on the dollar. That's all. Yeah, exactly. On it's the most expensive way to raise money uh, that we could possibly do. And and, and so I, I don't know of a business that wants tolls down here anyway in Fairfield County. The minimum wage is going to kill jobs. And legalizing recreational marijuana, if you look at a study recently, November of 2018 in, in Colorado, for every dollar revenue, they got $4.50 a cost. So it's a money loser. Well, it depends on your perspective. For Democrats, that sounds pretty good, I think. <laughs> well, um, I think there have been, I, I think some of those that think that marijuana is a revenue generator have been using it for medical purposes because it just doesn't make sense. But I think you I think you went over the the minimum wage hike to $15 too quickly because it that not only will cost jobs but I think it will crush business and lead to a lot of closings of businesses. Do you think that overstates it? No, I don't think it at all. Uh, if you just look at what's going on around the country when you increase uh, the minimum wage, you have a a, a short term decrease in jobs because small businesses can't afford it. I was at a, a Norwalk Chamber event uh, with the delegation, uh, the business chamber event, and um, you know we, we were talking about how every single bill that comes before us this session should be at, the, the question about whether or not it's good for small business should be asked. If it's not good for small business, we shouldn't pass it because we're only going to get out of the hole we're in by improving the conditions, the business conditions for small businesses in Connecticut. And that's a fact. What is the hole that we're in, Tom? Well, it depends on who you talk to, uh, whether it's uh, a billion five to, to three and a half billion over the next two years. Um, okay, so you're but, talking about the, the, the debt that is exploding that is owed to these unfunded liabilities. N not only that, no, I'm actually referring to the budget deficit going forward. Um, the, the governor is planning a, a an increase in the budget from roughly 20 billion to 22 billion over the next two years, and it's our position, uh, the Republicans, that we need to to decrease spending, not increase spending. Oh, so uh, so you're saying that his increase in spending is the the deficit? Well, but no, not only that, but it doesn't account for the deficit that we currently have. We got so it, he he does not have a plan, in my humble opinion that solves the deficit that we currently have projected mm -hmm. or, or accounts for how he's going to increase spending by almost $2 billion. Okay, so with his increase in spending, you're saying there could still there could now be a 5 or $6 billion hole? Correct. Okay, well, that sounds like he's really making a mess of things beyond uh, beyond what what is being considered in the general discussion. So that's a good number to have in mind and a good sense of how screwy these people are. 
Well, I, certainly, look, he he is uh, certainly affable, but he, he his math is not uh, jiving, at least as far as I'm concerned. If you look, we talked about briefly before, he wants to cut gantries from the 62 uh, that they were going to put in to 50, no more than 50, but they're going to still get the same revenue. Well, if they're going to try and get the same revenue, then they're going to have to charge more per mile. And again, um, you know, that, that wasn't included in, in what he disclosed previously. So uh, I would ask all your listeners to please keep an eye on the math um, because it's just not adding up without a cut in spending. All right, Representative Tom O'Day, good to talk with you again. We'll see you next week. All right. Thank you, Todd, very much. Everybody have a happy, safe holiday.